What's up YouTube? It's your boy Avery Williams coming back to another informative video. In this video, we're gonna be doing a review on the clipper. And it's a very well-known clipper out on the market right now. And a lot of people are flocking to it, have flocked to it, or are thinking about going to it. And that clipper is the Wild Magic Clip. Um, the cordless Wild Magic Clip. Now, I purchased this clipper for about I purchased this clipper about, I say, about two weeks ago. And I did do a review right off because I really wanted to see what all the hype was about. I um I waited pretty I waited a while to get the clipper. I waited about probably about a year to get the clipper. Um But I and then when I bought it, I waited about two weeks to do the review because I wanted to see what the clipper was about. And now that I got the clipper, I wanna say, man, this is probably one of the best best clippers I've ever used in my life as a barber. Um, it's steady, it's strong. It doesn't get staggered in the hair when I'm cutting. Um, it glides straight through the hair easily. It it's just everything you would want in the clipper. It's powerful again. Um, the battery actually lasts a good little bit. If I'm cutting with this clipper. I know when I first got the clipper for the first four days I was cutting, I cut with nothing but this clipper. And I may have picked up a master when the battery died, but I cut nothing with this clipper and this clipper lasts the entire day. The battery life is A1. Um, I want to say that for fading, it's very detailed, it picks up the hair real good, it doesn't, you don't have to go over it too many times like you would sometimes on certain textures with the Andes Master. And now don't get me wrong, I'm an Andes guy. The Master is by far my favorite clipper, but this is actually winning my heart over. Um, since I've been using it, I've really been loving the clipper. This has been my go-to clipper since I've been using it. Because, like I said, it just it doesn't have it really don't have any flaws like you would with other other adjustable fading clippers. Like it doesn't get like it doesn't stagger with the hair. Like I said, it picks up hair just fine. You don't have to go run over it, which is a big plus for me because um, do do with time do, dealing with time. You don't want to be picking at the hair for so long. You with this clipper, you just hit it one, two, one or two times, and it's gone. Um, it's very detailed. leaves a nice, clean cut. It smooths out the hair real good, especially when you're using Walls Premium Guards. I, I, I recommend you buy these guards if you're gonna be using the Magic Clip um, because they're they're more steady, they're more durable, and they're a uh, better quality guard. But anyway, back to the clipper. And the, now the design on it, the design on it, it's got a nice chrome finish right there. It has the finger braces on the back, so when you're cutting, it fits the grooves of your hand real good. The, the lever, the lever could have been a little bit better. But the lever is still a good quality lever. Um, it's not too heavy, which is a big plus because if you're doing like this all day, it'll wear out your wrist over time. So this is not a big weight. Um, the blade is very strong, very, you know what I'm saying, durable. It doesn't seem like it's gonna waste away too quick, like, you know like some of the other blades would do. Um, it does have that five star blade on the back with their, uh, I think it's a skip tooth cutting blade, which I think that's the reason why it picks up the hair so good. Compare this to the five star wall singer, I have both of them. I actually like this better and I feel like it cuts better than the five star wall singer, the corded clipper. Um, I haven't tried the five star cordless yet, um, but I will soon. Um, and the big another big plus to this clipper is when it goes dead, 
you can also plug the cord into it and, and um, still cut it like that and it still charges while you're cutting. Um, it's just a magnificent clipper. Wall really did a good job on this clipper. Uh, like I said, I'm an Andis guy, but I'm falling more towards this wall clipper per se. Um, it's a really good clipper. I recommend that you go out and get it. If you're a barber that enjoys um, spending money on his craft, I suggest that you buy this clipper. You will not, it will not, you will not regret it. Um, yeah, it's just a good clipper. Um, one thing that I was using before this clipper, I was using the Wall Singer and the Andes Master. And when I bought this clipper, I noticed a big difference in my timing and in my cuts. Um, not saying that the Andes Master or the Wall Five Star Singer wasn't getting the job done, but like I said. This clipper does not take that long with cutting hair. It goes straight through and gets the job done. And that's a problem that the Andes Master has with some textures. You have to hit it too many times, even if you have zero gap. You have to hit it too many times. And with this, it's just a magnificent clipper. So I suggest everybody go out and buy this clipper. Um, run the wall numbers up. Um, it's a very good clipper. Wall, you did a good job on this clipper. We thank you for this clipper. And I will be buying another, maybe two more. Um, Cause like I said, since I've been having this clipper, I have not used anything else really. Just this and a pair of T-liners and maybe my detachable on some cuts. And that's pretty much it. But like I said, this is a very good clipper. Go out and get it. If you like the video, like press the like button comment subscribe and watch my other videos and stay tuned for more content let me know what you want to see a review on in the um next video and hey we'll get it done but thanks for watching it's avery the barber and i'm out